Good morning children how are you all hope you all might be fine and safe in your home so today children in grammar we will read chapter 2 subject and predicate we will understand what is a subject and what is a predicate in the previous class we have done about this sentence now today we will learn in that sentence it is divided into two parts subject and predicate the sentence is divided into two parts subject and predicate we will understand what is a subject today so the subject is the doer of the action so in a sentence you will find that the subject is the doer of the action it can be a noun or a pronoun it tells us who or what something is about okay i'll explain you one by one now see for example we will see here the boy runs now see children here the boy runs so what do you see when we say the boy runs here the subject is the doer of the action now in this sentence what is the action the action is runs okay the action is runs in this sentence now who is doing this action who is the doer the doer is the boy understood the action is being performed by the boy so this boy is the subject this boy is doing the action understood so this is the subject so what you have seen it can be a noun or a pronoun so here the boy what it is it is a noun okay it is a noun and it tells us who or what something is about so about whom we are talking we are talking about the boy understood we are talking about the boy and the boy run now the next sentence the sun rises in the east okay the sun rises in the east now in this sentence what do we see who is the doer here or about whom we are talking about what we are talking we are talking about the sun okay here you see it is also a noun we are talking about the sun and this sun is what the sun is the predicate oh, sorry the sun is the subject now when i say i go to bed early i go to bed early now in this sentence what do we see who is the doer here the doer is i i am doing the action understood and what is i i is a pronoun i is a pronoun about whom we are talking we are talking about i so this i is a subject okay this i is a subject now i think you have understood what is a subject now we will proceed to predicate we will understand what is a predicate now suppose the same sentence we are taking i go to bed early now here see it shows the action being done by the subject now what is the action being done here here the action being done is go to bed early okay go to bed early so predicate tells us the action being done so action being done is go to bed early so this is a predicate okay this is a predicate it tells us what someone or something does okay it tells us what someone or something does so here this predicate tells us that i go to bed early so this is other uh, predicate part so i told you that a sentence has two parts subject 
and predicate. So here I is the subject and go to bed early is the predicate. Now the next sentence also, another sentence we will see. The dog barked loudly. Now see, the dog barked loudly. Here now let us see. What is the subject? The subject is the dog. How we can tell? Because this is the doer of the action. Who is doing the action? The dog is doing the action. What action it is doing? Barked loudly. The action being performed is barked loudly. So this is the subject, the dog and barked loudly is the predicate part. Okay. This is the predicate part. So the subject tells about the doer of the action and then predicate tells us what action is being done by the subject. Okay. Now we will do the exercise. We will see the exercise. Now in uh, page number 11, exercise 1, what you have to do? Break up the following sentences into subject and predicate. Then write them in their respective columns. So you have been given to do exercise. So here the first one is, my uncle is very tall. So in this you have to write in one column about the subject and in other column about the predicate. So what you will do? You will take out your copy. Make two columns like this. Subject, another column for predicate. Understood? And then in this, the sentences, my, you will write on top, okay? Uncle is very tall. Now here, you have been told to divide this sentence into subject and predicate. You have to tell what is the subject here and what is the predicate. So who is the doer? About whom we are talking? We are talking about my uncle. So here in the subject part, we will write my uncle. And what is being talked about my uncle? It is said that he is very tall. Okay, is very tall. So in the predicate part, you will write is very tall. Okay, like this. This is number one. So you will uh, write the question properly and then the answers. Okay, make column a straight line. Here the line is not a straight. You will draw a straight line with your scale. In the same way, the second one, the donkey is braying. So what you will do? You know that about whom we are talking? We are talking about the donkey. What we are talking about him? What action this donkey is doing? What is doing? What it is doing? It is braying. This will come in the predicate part. Okay? Now C, D, E, F. You have to do yourself. Okay? So make column for subject and predicate. And in the same way as I have explained you, you will do it. So thank you everyone.